This video shows how we can set up property sets to show information from an object within uh, the drawing. In this case, I've assigned, created a property set and assigned it to a pipe. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new drawing and create a pipe network within this drawing. And then I'm going to create that same property set. So to start, I just type property set define at the command line and press enter. This will bring up the style manager and then I want to create a new one. So I'm just going to use new style and the first step that I want to do is make sure it, it says pipes or pipe in the list. So this is going to apply to all pipes, objects. And then in the definition tab I want to create one that includes the property of object ID. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Add Automatic Property Definition, and I'm going to select Object ID from the list, and press OK. I don't want to see it in the dialog box or in the Properties palette, so I'll uncheck the box, and then I'll create a new uh, Formula Property Definition by hitting the plus sign. So I'm going to call this one Material Name. And I'm going to right click and choose insert on object ID, and that'll make it available in the list. So now that, that I have that, I want to include a formula. So this is called VB script, and result is going to be the value that's over on the right hand side. And I want to use double quotes. So that's going to be my default value. And then I can do on um, on air resume next. So this is going to say if there's an error, just keep going, and it's going to default to the existing result value here. So my next uh, the lines I'm going to just copy and paste from a previous setup. Um, here I'm going to get the app, and the app is the AutoCAD application. And then I'm going to get the Civil app, which is the Civil 3D instance. And I'm going to get that by the ACX UI land, the AEC application, and the version number. So AutoCAD 2017 is the 11th version. 2018 will be 12. Uh, 2016, I think, is 10. And then I'm going to set the object. And I'm going to get the object by using the Civil app the active document, which is the drawing open, and then I'm going to convert that object ID to object. And that's where that object ID comes in, and it's within the brackets. And then my final result is going to be the tag. So in this case, it looks like my sample values got removed, so I'm just going to go ahead and insert that back in. And that put that over there. So it's not going to show me anything over here in the sample results yet uh, because I don't have this property set assigned to an object. So I can say it OK. And I'll go back in and change my name to material name. And then I'll press OK. So then I can select my pipe, go to extended data, and then click the add property sets button and select my new style. And then here I can see my material name shows up and it's listed as reinforced concrete pipe. Now you may have noticed I picked the material based on a number, in this case 300. And the way I got the 300 value is I went to my blog Went, looked for the freaking context values list, and then went through and found it material type uh, located here. So if I want a different property, I can just select uh, the appropriate number and then use that. And that's how you can create a property set within Civil 3D using a property using VB script.